हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू बोसॉन्स बॉटनी एंड आई एम स्टार्टिंग विथ डी एन ए डुप्लीकेशन और डी एन ए रेप्लीकेशन दिस वीडियो इज बेसिकली ऑल अबाउट सम इंट्रोडक्टरी पॉइंट्स विच इज विच आर वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विथ द एक्चुअल डी एन ए डुप्लीकेशन और रेप्लीकेशन सो द फर्स्ट पॉइंट दिस ऑकर्स इन द न्यूक्लियस सो डी एन ए डुप्लीकेशन और रेप्लीकेशन टेक्स प्लेस इन साइड द न्यूक्लियस डी एन ए डुप्लीकेशन और रेप्लीकेशन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज डबलिंग ऑफ द अमाउंट ऑफ डी एन ए सो दिस इज नोन एज डबलिंग दैट इज मल्टीप्लीकेशन और टू बी वेरी प्रिसाइज डबलिंग ऑफ अमाउंट ऑफ डी एन ए ड्यूरिंग सेल डिविशन देर इज अ नीड टू इनक्रीज द amount of dna for the transfer into the daughter cells of generations so why dna duplication is important because <coughs> because to maintain uh, you know the ploidy level and the uh, amount of dna in uh, subsequent generations uh, this uh, takes place because during duplication of dna which occurs uh, at the time of cell division Uh, the, uh, the this uh, duplication uh, you know uh, process increases and uh, this in turn increases the amount of dna which is important to transfer uh, this increased amount of dna equally into the daughter cells to uh, maintain the ploidy level uh, for the future generations and this duplication of dna occurs during s phase of interphase both for mitosis and meiosis so if you uh, know about uh, the s phase uh, which takes place during interphase then the first point that you uh, get to know that takes place under s phase is uh, dna duplication so this takes place in the s phase of interphase both for mitosis and meiosis in mitosis from one parent cell there are formed two daughter cells with equal number of chromosomes and equal amount of dna so mitosis is also known as equational division equational division because uh, the division uh, takes place uh, uh, to you know um, distribute the uh, uh, dna content or the amount of dna equally into the subsequent daughter cells and that is why mitosis takes place which is known as equational division because from one parent cell there are formed two daughter cells with equal number of chromosomes and equal amount of dna so there is no reductional division there is no um, division of the uh, or uh, the uh, you know uh, uh, decrease in the amount of dna but only uh, same amount same quantity of dna and same amount uh, same ploidy level is maintained throughout the generation with the help of mitosis but in case of meiosis from one parent cell there are formed four daughter cells with half amount of dna and also half number of chromosome and that is why meiosis is also known as reductional division so the uh, dif uh, differences are very clear uh, between mitosis and meiosis and uh, i think you all know about it so i won't uh, you know exaggerate any further so duplication occurs only once either in in Uh, sorry either in interphase or interphase first or interphase second so duplication takes place only for uh, one time in interphase one or interphase first or interphase second if dna duplication occurs in s phase of interphase second then this is known as interkinesis in place of interphase second so these are some terminologies you need to remember because uh, you, uh, you might get like uh, if you are 
doing some mcq question you might get uh, four options out of which this uh, term is given interkinesis so you need to take that that is if dna duplication occurs in s phase of interphase second then this is known as interkinesis instead of interphase second so this is a small diagrammatic representation that i have drawn here to make the point uh, clear this is the parent cell p for parent and diploidy level could be haploid or diploid uh, haploid n and diploid 2n and this is the parent cell p when it undergoes mitosis that is equational division then two daughter cells are produced depending upon the ploidy level of parent cell it it could be haploid or diploid so the ploidy level won't change if you are taking a haploid uh, parent cell then obviously the daughter the two daughter cells that are generated after mitosis will also be haploid in nature but if the parent cell is diploid then the daughter cells will be diploid so there is no uh, difference in the ploidy level and the amount of dna is also the same you know equal uh, amount of dna in uh, both the daughter cells as it was in the parent cell and d for daughter cell and uh, basically mitosis takes place in the somatic cells or the somatic cells are generated uh, due to mitosis but if you see this this will explain you about meiosis so this is a parent cell and meiosis will always take place or rather meiosis 1 will always take place when the ploidy level is 2n or diploid never ever for haploid cell this you need to keep in mind so the ploidy level has to be 2n that is diploid this is the parent cell uh, this is having 2n or diploid ploidy level which will undergo meiosis first reduction division and after formation of two daughter cells having ploidy level same ploidy level haploid they will undergo meiosis second which is similar to that of mitosis and it is also known as equational division meiosis second so meiosis second will produce four daughter cells having same ploidy level but the chromosome num uh, but the dna content will become half or re uh, reduced to half and also the dna content will be reduced to half but meiosis second will maintain that ploidy level and will maintain that amount of dna so again this is for meiosis first this is the parent cell having 2n diploid uh, ploidy reductional division or meiosis 1 producing two daughter cells having half uh, the uh, ploidy uh, level that is half the number of chromosomes as you can see n n haploid to maintain this ploidy level and to maintain the amount of uh, dna that has been passed on from this parent cell into these two daughter cells meiosis 2 will take place which is similar to that of mitosis so it will simply divide uh, the two daughter cells into four daughter cells maintaining the ploidy level and maintaining the chromosome uh, dna dna content so the dna content and the chromosome content they are kept the same without disturbing them but only from two daughter cells we will get four daughter cells and this type of uh, division that is meiosis first and meiosis second they take place for gametes or spores because generally gametes and spores are haploid in nature they will fuse and they will produce diploid uh, zygote after fertilization so that is why meiosis is important because gametes and spores are produced which are haploid in nature and if the uh, generation has uh, diploid uh, zygote then obviously after fertilization the zygote has to be 2n or diploid and for that haploid condition is needed and to maintain that meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 take place so this is all about dna duplication very brief very short 
आई होप यू गेट सम पॉइंट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स रिगार्डिंग डी एन ए डुप्लीकेशन थैंक यू